besides being two famous socialites from the Kardashian family. Courtney and Chloe are businesswomen who took advantage of their fame to make a lot of money. But the question is, which one of the two sisters leads a more luxurious life? In this video, you will see a fierce battle between Chloe and Courtney Kardashian. So, let's fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But, you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Round 1 Real Estate Both socialites Courtney and Chloe are rich enough to live in extravagant mansions. But which of the two has the most expensive real estate these days? Chloe, for example, once owned a beautiful mansion that belonged to Justin Bieber, located in the city of Calabasas in California. The property built in 2005 sits on a 1.3-acre lot and has an interior that is 9,320 square feet in size. At the time Chloe purchased the property, the architecture was older and more rustic, with a strong presence of dark wood in the coverings and furniture, as well as having more intimate lighting. After the purchase, the influencer undertook a series of renovations to make her residence more pleasing to her, opting for a cleaner decoration, with a strong presence of white. One of the rooms that were completely renovated was the luxurious and comfortable movie room. However, something that was kept in the property is the integration between the internal and external space. After all, the landscaping of the backyard is exuberant, with lots of greenery, a swimming pool and hot tub, and an exclusive view of the mountains. Chloe purchased this incredible residence in 2014 for $7.2 million. In 2020, she sold the property to businessman their man for a record price in the area, an impressive $15.5 million. In other words, the socialite made a great deal. Without a doubt, Chloe's most surprising property is her mansion next to her mother Chris' home in the celebrity town of Hidden Hills, California. It is two houses, one for the mother and one for the daughter, located on the same 1.5-acre lot, to be closer together without losing privacy as well. In fact, the property used to have one house, which was destroyed to make way for the two new buildings. Chloe's house is the darker and larger one, and everything indicates that she moved into the place in late 2021, as she has been posting several photos showing the stunning decor of her new home. Some sources estimate that her home is valued at $20 million. But Courtney is not far behind in this dispute. Courtney's most famous property, which was always the setting for the tapings of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, is an 11,500-square-foot mansion located in Calabasas, California. Located high in the mountains of this noble region, the property has a structure worthy of a luxury resort, with an exclusive view of the valleys and lots of privacy. The residence of original Tuscan architecture has undergone major transformations to suit the contemporary yet familiar style of the socialite. With the help of designer Martin Lawrence Bullard, the house can be summed up by the word sophistication. From the circular entrance hall surrounded by glass windows, you can see Courtney's good taste, who requested double-height ceilings and plenty of natural light. The living room is a mix of classic and modern styles, contrasting the cozy fireplace, the grand piano, and the coffered ceiling with the most up-to-date furniture. The landscaping project incorporated a lot of life into the environment, providing warmth and well-being with the green of the plants. The rustic darkwood floor present in several rooms offers more comfort to the residents. The master suite has darker colors, with a beautiful bathtub where the owner can enjoy a relaxing bath. The influencer's office is very cool and creative, with several colorful paintings that complement the design and a warm fireplace. The chef's kitchen with two islands is equipped with state-of-the-art appliances. Even Kardashian takes a chance on the stove. In total, the property has six very nicely decorated and cozy bedrooms, complete with carpets and fluffy blankets. And since Courtney is very attentive to her children and took their leisure into consideration when remodeling the house, she decorated a girl's room with pink LED lights on the wall and another with bunk beds and lots of stuffed animals. Not to mention the dollhouse that she had made in her backyard, right next to the house, a spacious place made of wood, which was very well planned and decorated. A true child's dream. 
the large grassy yard, the refreshing swimming pool with fireplace, and jacuzzi offer an exuberant view of the mountains. It really is a home that offers a lot of tranquility, fun, and peace. When she bought this mansion in 2014, Kourtney Kardashian paid $7.45 million. However, with all the renovations and improvements, the property is certainly worth much more today. But recently, Courtnet bought a true oasis in the Palm Springs Desert, located in the luxurious gated community of La Quinta. With 36,500 square feet of lot space, the ground floor contemporary mansion looks more like a quiet, luxurious vacation resort. There are 9,300 square feet of living space, and right at the entrance of the house you can tell just how private this property is, having a tranquil courtyard with relaxing armchairs, an open-air fireplace, and even a modern glass waterfall. One of the entrances leads to a large living area with several rooms, such as a cozy living room with a fireplace. The design of the house is very clean, with furniture and decorative items in white tones, besides the cozy touch with the presence of light wood. Right next to it is a rustic dining table for 10 people integrated to the chef's kitchen with wood furniture and equipped with state-of-the-art appliances. In this area, there is also a bar with a quartz counter where drinks can be prepared. The property has six bedrooms in total, the master suite is extremely elegant and comfortable, with a fireplace and seven full bathrooms in total. The large glass doors provide a great connection between indoors and outdoors and offer a heavenly view of the golf course and the Santa Rosa Mountains. The house also has a more intimate living room for watching movies with a pool table, a beautifully decorated modern office, and even a guest house to comfortably accommodate all guests. The infinity pool surrounded by palm trees complements and refreshes the lush landscaping, providing good moments of fun for the family and a lot of contact with nature. It is a true tropical paradise, and all this infrastructure justifies the $12 million that Kourtney Kardashian had to pay. Since Kourtney currently owns more real estate than her sister, she wins this round. Round 2 Luxury Shopping Sisters Courtney and Chloe are known worldwide for leading extravagant lives, but which one of them spends more money shopping? Among all the women in the Kardashian-Jenner family, perhaps Courtney is the least attached to a life of ostentation. But even if the influencer doesn't have such an extravagant closet filled with the most expensive brand, Hermes, as her sisters do, Courtney does have some luxury handbags, but she likes to diversify the brands. She has been seen wearing, for example, a Jakimus micro bag. The accessory is so small that it doesn't even fit a cell phone. The price of such a bag is approximately $600. Another model that the influencer owns is the Prada Baby, a large and spacious bag that is ideal for carrying her children's items and costs around $1,290. It seems that Courtney is quite fond of more classic and vintage handbags. She has a Chanel purse made of caviar leather, which is worth around $1,600. From the French brand Givenchy, she has a large Antigona bag made of calf leather and cappuccino beige, an item that costs around $2,400. Courtney also owns a few Birkin bags by Hermes. This is one of the most expensive and exclusive brands today. Meanwhile, Chloe does not save money. For her daughter True, for example, she bought a dollhouse, which many websites point out cost around $12,500. Chloe has also shown on her YouTube channel a little more of how she organizes her clothes, shoes, and accessories in her very full closet. The influencer is always posting on her social networks using her extensive collection of designer handbags, such as the various models and sizes of Louis Vuitton, and has also advertised with Dolce and Gabbana. And of course Chloe owns many Hermes handbags, which have models that, depending on the material and size, can cost upwards of $100,000. Something Kardashian also likes to spend her fortune on is jewelry. She has posed for photos alongside her mother wearing more than $370,000 worth of Vulgari brand bracelets and rings. But since this is advertising, she certainly didn't have to pay for these luxury accessories. Taking into account that Chloe likes to splurge more, she wins this round. Round 3 Cars In this round, we will find out which of the two influencers has a more expensive garage, Chloe or Courtney? 
Courtney has already been spotted driving, for example, an Aston Martin DB11, a very powerful sports car that easily exceeds 190 miles per hour. And to have this car, Courtney had to spend about $200,000. A fairly common vehicle to be seen in the garage of American millionaires, just like Kardashian, is the Range Rover Vogue, a vehicle that is also worth around $200,000. Another high-end car she has been spotted using is a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, a stylish sports car capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. And the average price of this vehicle is $250,000. For more refined rides, the influencer opts for a classic Rolls-Royce Ghost, a very classy and powerful car that costs around $330,000. And perhaps the most iconic car Courtney owns is a Rolls-Royce Dawn, a coupe created for free-spirited customers who enjoy memorable open-air rides. That's why such a car costs around $360,000. But nothing compares to Chloe's garage. One of his cheapest vehicles is a Mercedes-AMG G63, a powerful and sturdy car that shows its magnificence wherever it goes. And to own this big Mercedes 4x4, you may need to invest more than $200,000. The digital influencer also owns a Range Rover Autobiography, a high-performance and versatile SUV that costs around $220,000 in the US. Raising the bar even higher, Chloe owns a Rolls-Royce Wraith, a powerful and dynamic vehicle with a V12 engine that costs around $350,000. From the same British manufacturer, she owns the Cullinan model, a very classy and high-performance urban vehicle, which has an average price of $450,000. For high-speed rides and lots of style, the businesswoman has a Lamborghini Aventador LP Roadster, a machine equipped with a 730-horsepower engine capable of reaching 220 miles per hour, which costs around $460,000. So it is clear from the price of the cars that Chloe wins this round. Round 4 Love Life The big Kardashian stars have always been in the media for their controversial private lives. But when it comes to relationships, which of the two has more experience? Courtney's first and longest romance was with Scott DeSick. All the details of their relationship were documented in the reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. They started dating in 2006 and had three children together, Mason DeSick, Penelope DeSick, and Rain DeSick. However, the loving relationship came to an end in 2015, but they have always been close to providing a good upbringing to their children. After that, Courtney was seen several times dating Justin Bieber, and many raised speculations of a possible dating between the two despite the large age difference. In 2016, Kardashian started dating model Ben Jima. But for reasons of jealousy of the content the influencer posted on her networks, two years later they broke up. After that, she briefly dated actor Luca Sabat. In 2021, Courtney made her relationship with her longtime friend, Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker, official. The couple even got engaged after a romantic proposal on the beach that the rocker prepared with thousands of red flowers. They made their marriage official in 2022, and the relationship has yielded many passionate photos and captions on the socialite's Instagram. But nothing compares to Chloe's romances. Between 2008 and 2009, she briefly dated NBA basketball player Rashad McCants. In the summer of 2009, Chloe entered into a relationship with fellow basketball player Lamar Odom, and within one month they were married. The celebration took place at a friend's mansion in Hidden Hills, and everything was the talk of the tabloids. The garden was decorated with white and yellow flowers, making the atmosphere very clean and sophisticated. All the Kardashian sisters agreed to wear dresses in shades of lilac and purple. The party took place in an indoor setting of the mansion, and of course, many records of the wedding were made for the reality show. The former couple separated in 2013, even though the divorce was not officially signed until 2016. After the separation, in 2013 there was speculation of the involvement of the influencer with baseball star Matt Kemp. In 2014, she briefly dated rapper French Montana. They even tried to get back together a few months after they broke up, but the relationship did not work out. From 2015 to 2016, Chloe dated basketball player James Harden. That same year, Kardashian was briefly involved with singer Trey Songs. 
The socialite's last most famous and controversial romance was with NBA player Tristan Thompson. The couple stayed together for approximately two years and even had a daughter together, Little True. However, during the pregnancy, Chloe discovered cheating, including a kiss from her boyfriend with her friend Jordan Woods. They even tried to overcome this together, kept a friendly relationship, and thought about having another child together. But in the meantime, the player found out that he would be a father again, but to another woman. Considering her long love list, Chloe wins this round. Round 5 Business Besides making money with reality shows, Courtney and Chloe are successful businesswomen. But which one of them has more sources of income? Although she is one of the most reserved and doesn't like to expose herself by advertising, Courtney does make money with her Instagram. Some sources estimate that she charges at least $300,000 per post on her profile with more than 214 million followers. She has done sponsored content for brands such as Calvin Klein, as well as doing campaigns for her sister's companies Good American, KKW Fragrance and Schemes. Speaking of entrepreneurship, Courtney has also had her own business. She, Kim and Chloe once owned a group of boutiques called Dash across the United States. The company ended its services after almost 12 years in business. Currently, she is focused on her new venture, the healthy lifestyle brand Push and also on her vitamin company Lemmy. The brand's website offers a variety of products for beauty care, nutrition, physical and mental condition, all for modern and healthy living. Chloe has also made good use of her popularity and her large audience to sell her brand's products. She has already posted sponsored posts for brands, such as her sister's brand Schemes and Drink 818, the mobile game Candy Crush, Vulgari Jewelry, among many others. And she certainly makes a lot of money from advertising on her social networks. After all, she has almost 300 million followers on her Instagram. And since Chloe has more followers, she probably gets a bigger cash than her sister for each advertisement posted on this network. The socialite is also co-founder, together with Emma Grade, of the jeans, bikinis, and women's shoe brand Good American, whose mission is to offer products for all sizes and bodies. In addition, Chloe recently announced that she is the new spokesperson and investor in the collagen product brand Dose & Co, and the future expectations of the company are quite promising. Kardashian has also had licensed products launched, such as her own fragrance Pink Diamond in partnership with her sister's brand KKW. Considering Chloe is more popular and possibly earns more from her Instagram, point to her. Round 6 Net Worth in this round, we will finally find out which of the two socialites is richer, Courtney or Khloe Kardashian? Without a doubt, the reality show on the E! Entertainment channel has represented a great source of income for the stars. According to the monarch Chris, all the Jenner Kardashian sisters received the same salary, which is estimated at $4.5 per season. Taking into account that there were 20 long seasons in 10 years, they all became millionaires. Not to mention that the Kardashian sisters probably earn royalties when streaming the show on other platforms, such as Netflix and Prime Videos. In 2022, the family announced the launch of a new reality show on the streaming platform Hulu, called The Kardashians. This new impressive nine-figure contract will also be equally split between each of the girls. However, Chloe also has credits in the executive production of some seasons of the show in the years 2015 to 2016, and therefore she had a bigger salary. Speaking especially about Chloe, Forbes magazine stated that she made, adding up all her income sources, $15 million in 2016, taking the fourth position of the most profitable stars of the year. Taking into consideration all of Khloe Kardashian's earnings, including the profits from her companies and her work as an executive producer of television shows, it cannot be denied that the celebrity has a multi-million dollar fortune. Some websites estimate her net worth to be $60 million, but if her mansion alone is worth $20 million, it could be that Kardashian's fortune is much larger. Kourtney's fortune is also in this same range, but since her sister is more popular in the media, it could be that she has earned a larger fortune. Considering this information, Chloe wins this round. At the end of this battle, we had one point for Courtney against five points for Chloe. She really knows how to enjoy life.
but if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification here below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.